My motivation for standing for the Invercargill mayoralty is my passion for the council and my desire to bring strong leadership to it. I've spent three years on the council now and I really think that it's time that Invercargill City and the councillors has a mayor that's committed to the role full time and that's what I'll be. As Invercargill Mayor, I want to be in charge of a culture change at the Council. And that includes not only the, the 12 councillors around the Council table, but the organisation as a whole. I think if you want to get rid of the perception of an old boys network, there's only one way to do it, and that's to vote for me, Karen. I think the most important policy that I'd consider bringing to the Invercargill mayoralty is the way that councillors actually consider the community as a whole during their decision making. Quite often I feel as though we're bound by our own perceptions and I think it's really important to consider the wider perceptions of the community as a whole. I'd make a real difference as Invercargill Mayor because I bring freshness, brightness, experience and um, proven leadership. I've got a real passion for this city, it's where I grew up, it's where my parents grew up, my grandparents and my great parents as well. So I'm a girl, daughter of the city and I want to take it forward into a brighter future. Well, I'm someone that doesn't take myself too seriously, but I do take what I do seriously. I'm committed, I'm driven, I'm passionate, and in actual fact, I'm quite funny. So for some people, they think I'm some ogre around the council table, but it's just when I believe in something, I'll stand up for it. Um, I'm someone that enjoys other people's company, but I really like my own company as well. I'm independent, but I'm a good person to work with as well.